Hey everybody, it's me, Sean, and welcome back to Production Line and our little factory here. It's a little factory that will soon be a big factory, or a mega factory, if you read the title of the previous episode. Um, and things are going pretty good. We have a nice, nice amount of profit coming in. Got good selection of vehicles going through. They're selling well. We've got plenty of research done and a bunch of research people that, if we need to, we can lay off. Right now, we don't really need to. Gonna get that bumper specialization here pretty soon. Right now, I guess we're gonna do administration first. I think my thoughts on that would was uh, so we could uh, uh, research additional body types, uh, which is still still a good thing. We will need because uh, I think the body type thing takes is like a four by two or something. So I might need to kill off this, um, kill off one of our uh, research things, or maybe kill off one of the research things over here to make room for it. Uh, we'll see when, when the time comes for that. Right now, we don't have to worry about it yet. Uh, I did make a, a few adjustments to the audio level so we could hear all the sounds and stuff. Um, I like how the game uh, has the audio levels there. And then as you zoom out, they kind of change. And then the music kicks in, right? Then you zoom out more. Well, I thought at one point I heard like a uh, like a humming factory or something. Oh, rival company has researched central locking, so I need to research that central locking. But we'll get the bumper specialization going first, and then I'm gonna have to keep up with the rivals. All right, I don't like that the cars still queue up funny. It'd be nice if they would queue up for this one. See, don't. Oh, well, that's okay. It's no big deal. Auto steer headlights, another... I guess I can just start automatically uh, setting these up, right? Um, so they had uh, auto steer headlights and central locking. So we're going to add to Q, add to Q. I also want to get the body, uh, body manufacturing where... Or, body research you know what I mean where the heck is that and of course getting all the different manufacturing things would be nice because we will is it under technologies we will uh, definitely need to manufacture our own stuff I remember that was a huge part of our having trouble in the last episode I I have I, I haven't already researched the thing to allow me to do... Um, you'd think it would be under here. Ah, body design. There we go. Add that to the queue as well. Great. Okay. And then we'll, we'll see what uh, other technologies come up before I get into that body design thing. Uh, but we are going to want to start researching production stuff as well so we can manufacture our own parts. And we'll take a look. Oh, now heater is one of the things that they've researched. Um, but we're going to want to... Uh, oh, I can't talk anymore. Manufacture our own parts. We'll want to be able to look on here and see what our biggest expenses are over the... You know what I mean? Like over all time. Um, so is this like sorted by quantity... I would like to see it by cost. Can I... Uh, so $180,000 for the powertrains. But I can't make my own powertrains. Seat or door panels and axles. All right. Uh, seat, door panel, and axles, huh? So if we go into processes... Seat, door panel, and axle. So axle manufacture right there. Um, is, is seat manufacturing a thing? I mean, it has to be, right? Um, seats manufacture. Door panel manufacture. And axle manufacture. There we go. We'll add those in there. Great. And then I'll start worrying about... Some of the other stuff. Look at that. We're already up to a million dollars. So we're doing pretty good financially. 
these guys are getting ahead of us on stuff like we, they've got the heat and they've got air conditioning. Um, I don't need to look too close because they're going to have the little dollar sign things on them. So there's our heater and uh, air conditioning. We probably, oh, I could have swore it said somebody had air conditioning. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's all right. Oh, and I wanted to start setting up, um, I wanted to start setting up uh, holding, little holding stations for stuff as well. Um, uh, the storage, you know what I mean. I want to start setting those up too. Uh, but for now, I need to get this fit bumper thing going. And I, oh, I did leave a little spare room for it in there. All right, so we're going to disconnect that. And I'll redo those there. And so bumpers uh, would be under chassis, no, body. What the? There we are, fit bumpers. Fit front bumper, fit rear bumper. Great, so front bumper right there, rear bumper right there. Right, rear bumper, front bumper, great. Conveyor, conveyor. There we are. Very good. Okay. And um, are we having any insufficient resources on anything other than the brand new thing that we just built? Because that would be where I'd want to start putting in a stockpile if we uh, if we were running into problems with those. Doesn't really look like we are. I expected the resource shortages to end up being over here, honestly. And... Um, they don't seem to be. I saw a little yellow thing flash for a second there. But, no, nope, looks like we're doing pretty good. So, good. Very efficient. Good um, manufacturing line that we've got going on here. Looks like our arches are the, uh, are the new uh, thing that's slowing us down. Which, I think we're researching arch specialization, right? Good. Very good. So, we'll be able to bust that open. Uh, if we... There it is, fit arches. We're gonna have front arch and rear arch. Now I didn't really leave the correct amount of room in there for those, unfortunately, like I had hoped to. Uh, so we're probably gonna end up having to kill one of these cars to make room for them. Let's close that down. Let's take the, uh, take the hit now. We're gonna have to. Um, arches fit front arch. Ah, oh, look at that. Fits right in there. But I am not going to want to have those things in there. There we go. Uh, fit front arch right there. Fit rear arch. Mm, boy, we're, we're doing stuff so fast here. Fit rear arch. Oh, I forgot to, uh, forgot to upgrade the, uh, thing too. All right. Um, fit rear arch. There we go. Beautiful. That will work. Yes. Okay. Convey. Hers. Set. Wrong direction. All right. Yeah, you always forget about that. Uh, not always, but I sometimes forget about that. There we go. Well, that one's going the wrong direction, too. Okay. Like that, please. Thank you. All right. No route. There we go. Stockpiles coming in. And the other guys are researching up those other technologies, but we'll get caught up here real soon. Don't you worry. Um, I should have done the... It was the door panel thing that uh, had the upgrade in it. Um, well, that doesn't really make any difference at all, does it? Let's upgrade all slots. I think that's the only upgrade we've had so far. So I don't need to worry about upgrading anymore. And I need to start just automatically clicking buy all. Uh, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, what do we got going on here? Upgrade all slots. Upgrade all slots. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Okay, it's fine. Um, current research body design. Great. Okay, we don't have that yet. So that'll allow us to do that. So let's take a look. Uh, we are going to create a similar, well, first off, 
I'm going to limit the colors for our basic sedan here. I'm going to create a similar model, and I will give it the different colors. And this will be our, um, our uh, uh, what, do you, what do you call the second level sedan, the, the mid-range? Hmm, how do I get rid of that princess? There we go, mid-range sedan. Sure, why not? Uh, enter. And it will have all of the new features that we get. We're going to keep it at a 20%. Actually, I'm going to increase that. Why not? 30%. And then we are going to come down here. And we're going to just split those up one to one. So we're going to have one sedan and one mid-range sedan. Very nice. And we'll just rotate between those two. And then we'll be able to continue upgrading our mid-range sedan over time. It doesn't seem like I really need to build any of those stockpiles like I was thinking about doing. Uh, I did see a little exclamation point over here. Yep, so maybe for the lights, I want to have a stockpile. That would be our first stockpile. Um, but that's okay. They're easy to do. So if we... There we go. Supply stockpile right there. And it would... Yep, that'll work right there. Great. Add item. We want to have lights. Um, I forgot how the alphabet works. There we go. And we'll just do that. I don't have any special lights or anything, do I? Auto steer headlights. That doesn't require anything different, does it? Light. Directional light. Okay, well then. Let's switch that to 18. And then we will add item... Uh, directional. I guess that would just be under lights, huh? There we go. Directional light. And we'll do 18 of those as well. Very cool. Okay. So now that's taken care of. Turn the speed up. Uh, looks like... Mm, looks like the lights are actually our slowest point now. And I think that's because of the waiting for resources. So uh, this new stockpile hopefully will... Well, the point of the new stockpile was so that wouldn't happen anymore. It's frustrating that the stock, the, okay, well, now it seems to be working all right. That the stockpile efficiency things still haven't quite been resolved. Now, what is our new facility here? Well, you're flashing at me that we have a new facility, but where? All right, I don't think we actually, stop it. There's no new facility. Now, soon we'll have our design studio. No, nope. yeah, we're, we're working on it. But we don't have it yet, so. All right, uh, looks like Fit Roof is our new slowdown. No surprise there. Oh, and we're getting insufficient resources on our doors. So we need door panels and servos. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a stockpile in there as well. Because we do have some gaps in the uh, in the incoming stuff. So that is perfectly fine. I'll just put it right there. And we're going to add items. We're going to have door panels, right? Is that what we're doing here? And uh, servos. 24 door panels. And 12 servos. There we are. Great. Close that down. That'll help. Looks like somebody has researched in-car music. We're going to want to get that. Um, we have unlocked the design studio. Let's go over here and get that in-car music um, going. In-car music. There we are. Add the queue. Very good. Uh, I believe we're researching manufacturing stuff now. Great. So we can start saving some money that way. Not that we're running short on any money, but let's let's see what this new facility looks like. Design studio. Ah, so it's three by three. So I would have to knock out two guys out of there, but I think I would only have to knock one out down here. Right? Yes. So let's kick that bad boy out and put in a design studio. And we will work on, uh, we'll go with the uh, compact, I think. To 
to start with because it's cheap. Although the SUV would be probably sell well, but we're going to go with the compact. Um, and it's going to take us a while. But that's okay. We've got plenty of time. Um, how is our, our, uh, our new model here, our mid-range? Okay, we don't have any new features for it yet. It seems like it's selling just fine. Budget, 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 budget. There's our... Nope, that's a budget as well. So our mid-range sedans are not even... Well, maybe we're not even uh, manufactured. You know what I mean? Maybe they're not even being done yet. Because... But I feel like they're probably just selling out. All right, great. Seat manufacturer, that is good. Let's go to, um, that would be in fit accessories. I mean, it's got a picture of a chair, right? There's a seat right there, dummy. So, all right. So, um, let's go to make seats. And where do we install the seats? Well, let's zoom out so we can take a look at it. There's where we install them. So we probably want to make them right around here. Um, and this is where we have all the spare, uh, the spare, uh, you know what I'm trying to say here, um, import slots. So it's going to work out real well for us. So let's, uh, I don't know how many of those we're going to need. We're going to start, start with two. We'll see how well that works. And you're going to come out like that. And uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. So that's good. So if I set you to, oh, I don't have import controls yet. I probably ought to research that. So let's add that to our queue. Import priorities, add queue, very good. How long is our queue? It's not too long. And uh, what are we researching currently? Door, door panel manufacturer and then axle manufacturers. Great. All right, and we'll see. Looks like our manufacturing is able to keep up with the demand currently. We're not over manufacturing t too badly. We are over manufacturing a little bit. So the getting that import priority will help. It's, it's too bad you can't easily adjust the um, the your priority queue i mean your research queue you know what i mean I, i'd like to be able to shift things around maybe put the uh, import priority higher without having to go through and delete everything uh but you know that's how it goes um could maybe use a little more power we still don't have the advanced power plant which, which i don't mind i'm not complaining i'm just running out of things to say not to uh, stockpiling any cars, so I think that means we need to increase the price on everything. I'm going to increase that up to 40. Uh, oh, it's still a budget. That's why. There we go. Now it's a mid-range. I forgot. You have to increase the sales price to turn it into a mid-range. Got it. Okay. Now it's a true mid-range car. And we should still be able to sell through them all, I hope. And I don't remember what colors we had set for the mid-range cars. Um, I think the yellow one is, right? I don't know. Who knows? Door panel manufacturer. I like it. Let's come up here where the door panels are. That is in here. And I can run that off of this belt over here. So let's slow it down. Let's go to fit doors, fit door panels, make door panels. And the um, black ones are the imports and the gray ones are the out exports so we'll build a couple of those we will connect up to a stockpile right here like that and then we'll connect up to the outgoing thing oh it's weird that you need to connect those but you don't need to connect the green ones uh but it's okay it's, there we are so now we are manufacturing those door panels which is fantastic Hopefully we can stop importing them all together. Be able to worry about that when the time comes. But much more profitable, good, efficient plant that we've got going on here. Uh, certainly we're going to have to remodel things as time goes on. 
Uh, like I'm, I'm glad that I left the center open. That's going to allow us to do a lot more manufacturing and everything. But obviously, this is not going to hold forever. And eventually, I'm going to have to tear out entire sections of our factory. But that's what the expansion stuff is for. If I didn't have to tear out sections, we would never be able to expand, right? I mean, it's common sense. Stop your complaining. Um, uh, things are looking pretty good, though. I am feeling good about how our plant is set up. Let's follow a car through all the processes. That's always fun to do. We're going to go ahead and follow this car. It's too bad we can't click a button and have it follow it, but that's all right. We're going to follow it all the same. There we go. And it's going to have the second axle added. Nice. Actually, I'm going to skip and follow mid-range today, and that would be a little more fun. Now it's got the drivetrain. Up next is the undercarriage. There we are, undercarriage, ho! And following it along, we're gonna do the fuel tank. Let's see that get added on. Sorta, can you see it being added on? It doesn't look like there's really a noticeable difference. Uh, we can now start manufacturing axles, but we're busy watching this car go through the factory, so we're gonna do that instead. There we go, it's gotten its, uh, we're still following the same car, right? Yeah. Up next is the hood. Cool beans. After that is the trunk. Keep an eye on our car here so we don't lose it. Get that trunk installed, very cool. And after that is a bumper. Now that trunk looks more like a hatchback, but you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, upgrade all slots for that. Oh, the heater, yes. Neat. And we're gonna get the rear bumper on, and then we're gonna continue on through there. And then up next is the bottom trim. Trim, very good. And uh, a little wait until we get to the front arch. There we go. And a bit longer wait because we have to go around this corner. And then we'll get the rear arches put on. And. There's our air conditioning, very neat. That's a new slot, we're gonna have to figure out how to add that in there. We've got all the arches. Oh, and we've got the new body style too. Cool, all right. Um, I'm actually gonna pause the game so we can jump on that and I bet I'm not gonna remember where our car is either, That's which is too bad. Um, uh, so we've got a compact body, let's do an SUV next. And uh, let's go back over and see if we can find our our car. I know we were up here and we were about to have the vent put on. So uh, that's a sedan, which means that is our mid-range sedan right there. Great. So let's continue following this through the process. Here it'll get its vent. There you go, totally vented. And uh, we have a lot longer to wait for this one. As a matter of fact, Going to uh, jump ahead to this mid-range sedan. There we go. It's, we'll pretend it was the same one the whole time. <clears throat> now we're going to have uh, the roof put on. Upgrade all slots. And there we go. Very cool. Door panel time. Whoa, that was fast. And we, rear, wing mirrors and more stuff. I don't even know what that was. It went by so fast. Here we go. Now it's to get the undercoat put on and uh, get that undercoat dried up. I'm still following the same car, which is cool. And uh, here it comes. What color, what color will it get painted? Looks like orange, very neat. And it jumped to the head of the line and the drying queue. It's like it knew we were watching. We're gonna watch it for the rest of the way here. There we are. And now it's gotta queue up a little bit to get, looks like the drivetrain put in. But the queue's really not that long. There we go. Uh, engine, nope, drivetrain is what that was, as a matter of fact, the whole time. And uh, next up is the radiator. Now that car is irradiated, very neat. And uh, then an exhaust, it's exhausting, waiting for it to get through all of this. Uh, we are actually gonna, are we out of research? Wow, we're out of research too. Um, I probably ought to be doing research, even though I want to try to get through all of the, um, I really wanted to get, uh, 
get that car through by the end of the episode. Wow, everybody has got power steering, except us. Jeez Louise. Um, we're going to add that to the queue, add that to the queue. So we're still playing catch up, but I feel like we are uh, way ahead on the um, on on like our efficiency and just manufacturing ability overall. So uh, I, I don't mind that we have a little bit to catch up on the quality of our vehicle. You know what I mean? Like the features of our vehicles. But um, automatic windshield wipers now, huh? Can I just jump to it? Does it? It does jump to it. Great. Add to queue. Cool. All right. But uh, let's get this car out the door. Uh, steering column. Yep. No real graphic for that. Maybe when it turns around this corner. Nope. Still can't see anything. Let's upgrade all the slots on that. Uh, next, steering wheel. That should be obviously visible. And there it is, right there. Steering wheel is in there. Lights. Yep. Turn them on in the factory. Why not? Uh, horn. Beep, beep. And seats. There's those seats we made ourselves. Windscreen. Yep, now we can't even see inside the car anymore. That stuff is so fast, we don't even have time to think about what it was. But we do have a moment, few moments here while we're waiting for... It's, we're not so much waiting for the fit electronics, we're waiting for the uh, quality control to get us out the door. Um, they have researched central locking. Thought we had that already, but who knows. Um, I, I guess it doesn't tell us necessarily... I mean, it tells us when the uh, AI has beat us to something, but it doesn't necessarily only tell us when we don't have it ourselves. So, or, uh, you know what I mean. It tells when the AI has researched something. Hey, but look at that, our car is about to go out the door. So finally, we have, uh, <laughs> we have uh, gotten a car out the door and we can end the episode. Little, little bonus, this is, this is a minutes at the end of the episode for you guys to enjoy. Uh, I hope you had some fun. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really enjoy this game, and I'm glad to be playing it again. I hope you're glad to be watching it again. If you are, click that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I hope you'll join me again for the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye!